you're actually going to be pretty amazed how easy it is to launch a gaming server with Minecraft using the hosting your system. So let me show you how right now. What's up everyone? Like I said, I'm going to show you how easy it is to launch a gaming server on a hosting plan from Hostinger. Now, first thing you got to do is jump into the link in the description and grab one of the gaming hosting plans available. Now, depending on how much resources you need, go ahead and select the plan that you want to use. Um, I recommend obviously the most popular one, which is the game panel two. And there's an extra discount coupon code I want to show you. Extra discount coupon code I want to show you. Now, once you're here, you're going to select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. I recommend 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you're good to go for 24 months. Now, the price right now, it's $215 for those 24 months. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and applied, the price is going to drop to $194 with 18 cents. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code. Now, for the good stuff, how are we going to launch this gaming hosting panel for Minecraft? So first of all, once you grab your plan and install it, you're going to install the Debian Minecraft system, and then you're going to be able to view it here in your BPS section. So in this section, I have my BPS Minecraft Creeper. I'm going to manage it and we're able to view my IP address so I can connect the domain if I need to. The BPS uptime, the current OS is Debian 11 with the game panel. We're going to jump into the back end where we're going to install our Minecraft server. So for that case, we're going to go into our panel access section here. And this is the IP address that we need to follow. And the username is this one and the password. You created it when you install your Debian VPS. Now, be aware that if you forget it, go ahead and just reset it. OK, so let's go into our panel and we are going to be able to log in. In this case, I'm already logged in and here's where I have I have my gaming servers. So in this case, I have installed a Call of Duty and a Minecraft here. But in this case, we're going to create a brand new instance where we're going to install our Minecraft server. So first off, we're going to select the application. We're going to scroll down here and we're going to be able to find the Minecraft server. So you have the option for Minecraft Bedrock, Bungie Cord or Java Edition. In this case, I'm going to do the Java Edition. OK, here we go. I'm going to give it a name, a friendly name. Minecraft. That's master. OK, after creation, what do I want to do with it? Update once, update always, update and start once. So we want to update and start always. In this case, you can go ahead and start it later on if you like. No issues with that. And we're going to create the instance. OK, so now it's creating the instance. Let's give it a few minutes for that to finish and I'll show you the back end right now. OK, it's just been created and here we go. We got Minecraft SAS master. That's what I created that called this one. Let me go ahead and select it. And we have these options. Stop the instance, manage it, edit settings, edit ports, update or delete the instance. So if you just want to get rid of it, go ahead and delete it. OK, in this case, we want to manage it. OK, so when we manage it, we go into the actual back end. Let me go ahead and set the details here. We got the metrics for this, the CPU usage, the memory, active users. I can import this. I can check the instance. I can turn this off, update, etc. all from here. Now it's still setting up, so let's give it a few minutes more. OK, so the server now started. We have all the options to restart, stop, sleep it, connect the server or assistance all available from here. The stats, we have the console options to view everything, the logs for the errors and everything that's going on. Schedule if you want to add a trigger, configuration, which I'll show you at the end. The plugins, if you want to install plugins from here. File manager, backups, that's really important to create backups and configuration. This is where we're going to configure everything about the game. We can create users, role management, active sessions, audit log, amp core branding. If you want to add your own branding right here. So in this case, maybe you want to remove hosting or you want to add something like that's meant for you, like SAS master, something like that. File backups, external services, file manager, gameplay and difficulty. So you can tweak all of this for your own servers. If you want to make it easy, you can do so. If you want to make it hard, you're going to do that all from here. OK. The job on memory that's using here, you can go ahead and limit this monitor and met metrics, performance and limits, security and privacy and server settings. So your server settings are going to be available right here so you can set this up and then you can connect it. Now, once you have all this set up and you got everything ready, you can go ahead and use the Minecraft system to log into your server using your endpoint and your login details from the users that you created. Just like that, you're able to create a gaming system for Minecraft with the Hostinger gaming server. And that's a wrap.